Today at the Rangiura Vet Centre, Max is in to be neutered. Sophie talks us through the process. So the operation we're doing today is a dog neuter. There's lots of reasons why we um, want to neuter them. This is a really good age, this dog's about seven months. We normally say from about six months onwards. If you're gonna get them neutered, that's a really good time to do that. Um, if they're going to breed from the dog, that's the one situation where we'd say it's okay, just, you know, obviously let them do their job that they need to do as a stud dog, and then think about neutering them after that. Um, if you don't neuter your dog and it's not a stud dog, it can wander. Um, when it smells lady dogs on heat, it can run off the property and quite often out onto a main road. That happens quite a lot, sadly. I think one of the most important things we find is that later on in life, they can get a lot of prostate issues. Um, and that's something that obviously by taking away these little testicles at an earlier age, we can help reduce the incidence of prostate problems later on in life as an older dog. The main thing is under anaesthetic is that we're monitoring its blood pressure. If that blood pressure drops, it can have effects all over the body, not to mention the brain and the kidneys. Um, it's basically, it's the pressure generated by the heart trying to pump the blood and the oxygen around the body. And because we've knocked him out and made him go to sleep, um, one of the biggest problems with anaesthesia is that we can drop their blood pressure. So we need to keep a really close eye on that. So we'll take him through into theatre now. First of all, we need to put a drape over our patient to hide all the other unclean bits. This is my surgical kit that I'll be using to do the surgery. So there is his testicle. There, this is all the blood vessels here. And that's the spermatic cord that wraps its way around there and runs down there. Now this bit here is just um, a little bit of tissue from the testicular sac so what we're going to do is we're actually going to break that attachment and we just use some forceps to do that it's quite brutal I'm afraid we literally do just pull it off the end it comes away nicely and then we're just left with our blood vessels and our spermatic cord so I've got my three clamps in place I'm now going to use um, my suture material here this particular stuff is absorbable material so we don't need to take any of these stitches out luckily they're right inside the dog we're tying off the blood vessels so that we can take the testicle away and we know that the bit left inside the dog isn't going to bleed so now's the moment of the truth when we actually remove testicle i'm afraid right, there it is might... sorry max and this is the end of that sack which I'm just going to let go there, make sure there's no bleeding there. And this, more importantly, this is the end with all the blood vessels and the spermatic cord. Now I'm just going to let that go gently, and make sure there's no bleeding. And then we pick up the whole thing, and just feed it back inside. And then we'll start on the same thing on the other side. There's his little wound there, and obviously he's missing a couple of things. Kim will give that a clean up. Um, it looks a little bit puckered now, that's quite common, but that just relaxes as time goes on, and um, it's not too tight, so he shouldn't have any pain issues with his skin. So this is him in recovery. He's still obviously breathing oxygen, but the anaesthetic gas is turned off. Um, I'll go and get him a blanket now, and we'll keep him nice and snugly warm. He's a good lad. I'll just go and grab some bandage. For Within an hour of his operation, Max was up eating and ready to go home. Be watching next week when Morse returns for a checkup on his wounds after being involved in a cat fight.